Hey everyone, so I thought of a cool video to make. I have a Hero 4 Black Edition and I also have the new iPhone 6S and they both shoot 4K at 30 frames per second. So I thought I would make a cool video of comparing which one does a better job at 4K at 30 frames per second. And uh, so I stra what I did was I strapped the GoPro on the back of my iPhone so I could shoot the same video. Um, and then I could slice it together on Adobe. Uh, I'm not the best at video editing yet and my channel uh, doesn't have that much subscribers so the production value isn't that great but uh, hopefully over time I'll get there. Now uh, I, one of the things that I wanted to test was rolling shutter so I panned quickly and you'll see the results. Um, I'm gonna first put them side by side and I'm gonna put them um, by themselves uh, so you can do some comparison for yourself and I'll also be uploading the actual files since YouTube loses a lot of quality due to their compression um, and uh, you can make decisions for yourself at which camera is better for you in terms of your um, your situation and if it's just all out quality which one is better and um, based on some numbers I think it's technically the GoPro but we'll see for here for here uh, <clears throat> after I do some video editing and also uh, look at some stuff on the um, uh, the codec information and and bit rates and whatnot and I'll display that on the video as well thanks and enjoy the video things to determine <clears throat> the quality or how uh, big the files are which doesn't always determine the quality but uh, is the bit rate and uh, that's just how much data it can hold and if I'm mistaken just correct me but um, so if you just want to go here and open the GoPro files so the move files are basically or MOV are the ones from the iPhone so we'll open those so it's at 50.4 overall bit rate which is not bad for 4k and it tells you here's the dimensions, so it's 3840 by 2160, which is UHD. Not technically 4K, but we'll just call it 4K. And again, the bit rate is 50.4, and it's 5 minutes and 9 seconds at 1.81 gigabytes. And the audio stream is 44.1 uh, gigahertz, kilohertz. Um, and uh, it's 82.4 kilobits per second. So let's open the same file that I recorded with the GoPro and it's equivalent. And it's 60 mega, uh, megabits per second uh, as the bit rate. And the audio is 128. Uh, I forgot what the iPhone one was, but I think it was lower. And it's 48 kilohertz audio. So actually that's pretty much sounds better and the for the same amount of time give give or take five seconds for recording uh, it's bigger files file size as well which would, doesn't have to indicate that the quality is better but it probably does and uh, what else is more information that I can see here yeah the uh, the video is higher by 10 uh, 10 megabits per second so let's open the other two files as well, just so you can see them. So this is the iPhone one. Again, around 50 megabits per second for the video. And yeah, 83 or 84 kilohertz, uh, kilobits per second for the audio. Now let's open the equivalent one from the GoPro, which is this one. So again, it's higher bit rate. So obviously these things are just set in stone in the settings. And the audio also is better. And it's a bit bigger in file size. So that's that from the uh, codec analyzation perspective. Um, let's go to the actual videos now. OK, so I have to restart the video because I was not shooting in 4K on the iPhone because I had restored it from a previous iPhone backup. Now that I'm re recording in 4K on both the GoPro and the iPhone, 
Uh, we can do a comparison in terms of quality of video and audio. But I think the audio is going to go to the iPhone for sure. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get it like different lighting situations too. See low light and whatnot. I have the uh, GoPro strap to the back of my iPhone with some sticky uh, mounting tape. And we shall try to cross the street and not get run over. And I think we're going to be successful. Nice. some errands to run so we'll try to run the errands and then see try to do some uh, fast panning to see which one <coughs> has more of a rolling effect like a rolling shutter effect. Mm. And we'll go indoors as well see indoor lighting at FedEx. time for you also see which one has more endurance in terms of temperature and also uh, even though the 6s does not have optical image stabilization we'll see which one seems more stable in the end result Again. And again. Wow. Alright, now we're gonna go into FedEx. Inside and we're going out. Now we're going back outside. 
I was covering the microphone on the iPhone, so it might have cut out for a bit with sound, but now we're just gonna go walk to the gym and see which has the best quality. I bet you the iPhone battery is gonna drain like crazy, and so is the GoPro. Especially when recording at 4K. Wow, the GoPro is almost dead. Alright, that's enough. So. Try to do some uh, fast panning to see which one has more of a rolling effect, like a rolling shutter effect. Try to do some uh, fast panning to see which one <coughs> has more of a rolling effect, like a rolling shutter effect. Mm 